there is no emotion more indicating of your split with who you are than regret or self-judgment or worry about stuff is it enough for you to say I did the best I could do as I was going along and that's the best I can do and that's good enough and it's got to be good enough because it's all there is and so anything less than that takes you down a rabbit hole that can keep you in a state of resistance unnecessarily for a long time and we know it's not the easiest thing to hear you all a lot of you have been running around for a long time trying to jump through hoops and make all the marks on all the charts charts that do not really exist anywhere except in the mind of disconnected humans and you're not going to let go of all of that practice self-condemnation all at once but you got to let go of it or you can't be a cooperative component to who you are you all practice conditional love like most humans for a long time so someone who says I want to be in alignment all the time is someone who is suffering from not being in alignment and so the relief of that is what you want and so it's all right to say it as long as you understand what it means Esther used to say to Jerry I think I should just bring Abraham in and you can just leave with Abraham it'll be a much better life experience for you and sometimes to tease her Jerry would ponder that question a little bit but always he said no it's way more fun this way it's way more fun this way you want step one and you want the thrill you see you know at many levels of your being that you are source energy you know at many levels of your being that you're supposed to feel good and when you don't you know something is really really off and so what we're saying to you is it's off for everyone who's in physical form because you've chosen this environment where you get to choose and you get to decide you are a creator if you were sculpting clay you wouldn't take a big clump of it and just splat it down and then say not really what I had in mind you'd want to get your hands in it you might rework it and rework it until the clay is not workable anymore in other words you want the satisfaction satisfaction comes from having desires and moving in the direction of them we didn't say satisfaction comes from having desires and getting there and staying there it's this dynamic creative juices flowing you we want you to be as willing really willing to allow yourself to have negative emotion and then less and less and less and feel a little better about this and that and this we want you to be as willing to do those things as to learn a computer program or to learn a language or anything else it's just steady motion in the direction of what you want and now here's the big thing that we want to lay on you in a way that you will never forget you're never gonna get all the way over there there's always is gonna be a gap because in every moment you're gonna be standing so you know what you don't want you know what you do want you launch the rockets of desire but they don't feel normal to you because you know what you don't want more than you know what you do want so this is a vibration that is more familiar with you than what I don't want has been trending more but your inner being caught the vibrational rocket that you sent and is holding attention upon it and now the, all of the cooperative universe is being attracted to that and now your tug of war is getting greater and greater now you heard us when we say it's important that you feel good and you're starting to be nicer to yourself and you're starting to reach for more thoughts just because they feel good so you are closing that gap closing that gap getting closer and closer and closer and now the gap is closed and mm, there's a manifestation immediately yes you got the manifestation of something that you wanted but you also now have a whole new set of contrasting experiences that are helping you to know what you don't want and know what you do want that's always the way it's going to be while you're here in this physical body you'll never get it done and so it might be a good idea to start letting it be okay that it's not done and have fun in the journey if you were going on vacation you have this itinerary you're starting out here and you're gonna go there and there and there you're gonna go maybe really far maybe you're gonna get on an airplane and go really far but you're gonna come back here to where you live where your all your stuff is you wouldn't say oh now wait a minute I'm here 
I'm going to go all of those places, but this is where I'm going to end up. Why go? Why go? Because it's way fun. New, 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 new observations and insights and understandings and opportunities. So now we want to introduce into this important conversation your point of focus that goes like this. I can tell by the way I feel whether I'm letting in all I've asked for or whether I'm in the way of it. It really is only that simple. Nothing else is standing between you and anything you want. Now that's kind of hard to hear, especially when you started out with the hard times because it felt to you that hard times were coming to you and you weren't asking for them. Felt like you weren't asked for them. Who would ask for hard times? But you did from your non-physical perspective. You said, I'm a teacher. I can't teach what I don't know. And I'm going forth, as is everyone else that's going to planet Earth at this time, I'm going forth into a variety of contrast where we are all understanding, at least at the time that we're launching in, we're understanding that we create our own reality and that we have infinite choices, myriads of choices, and that there are going to be a whole lot of people surrounding us, billions you knew, who would be believing different things, wanting different things. Talk about a sort of chaotic environment. And you said, I want to get good at this early on. I don't want a feathered nest. I don't want everything lined up around me so that all I have to do is weakly, lazily, sloppily, just observe and feel good about what I'm observing. I want to know how to maintain my balance because I believe in these things. I believe in free will of 100% of the population on planet Earth, in the universe. Because I know that the law of attraction responds to every vibrational frequency. And so I want to be really good at focusing, which means I'm going to have to hold my vibrational tone no matter what's going on around me. Because otherwise I will be in a trap as so many generations that have gone before me have been, where I will be living a very conditional love because they're not all going to behave the way I might think I need them to behave in order for me to feel good. They're not going to do it. But I want to love anyway. I don't want to be part of the world that needs to line up in segments, pigeonhole and catalog and say, this is what we believe in, this is the right way and therefore everyone else is wrong and then gather a stance of pushing against what I don't want because I know you said we remember we said we'd remind you I know that the law of attraction is responding to my own thoughts and if I'm pushing against what I don't want I'm attracting what I do not want that's not why I'm going into this body that's not what creation is about for me I want variety I don't care if it's difficult I'll figure it out as I go along and in time it will be hard enough for me that I will start looking for answers and I will find them because I know you said from that non-physical perspective no matter how much is going on around me if my desire is strong enough I will find the way desire is a very powerful thing and when you think about your inner being who's lined up there with you, who's focused with you, who's calling all cooperative components forth, when you ask it is given, someone should write a book. When you ask it is given, the only question is, are you a cooperative component or are you stuck on some thought that you've been thinking for a long time, trending on, because so many, Esther, talks about it with herself every day want to be right about this you live life and you gather lots of experiences and you have exposure to lots of things and you come to lots of opinions and you really believe that you are right all of you do each one of you believe that you have the right perspective you should have seen Esther and her daughter trying to decide where to place a piece of furniture the other day it was really funny Esther came this close to saying this is my house <laughs> Because Tracy has good ideas too. And one idea was really as good as the other, but this is my house. And so what you want to do is find a way 
that rather than needing to be right to prove something that can never be proven because it isn't in question, your value or your worthiness, you want to know instead, am I in alignment with my source energy who is the holder vibrational frequency of all that I have become and that all that I desire and that all that is in the process of becoming where I and others can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it. Yeah? That makes so much sense to you, doesn't it? As you hear it right now, you feel the resonance of that. So that means your work is when you're involved in life and you run across yet a new experience that causes you to feel a new pinch of negative emotion. That means this is an opportunity for me to release some resistance. But if it's a strong, hard pinch, if it's a very strong negative emotion, right here, right now, you're not going to do much to release the resistance. Usually you're going to double down and make your claim and explain why you're feeling it and do your best to convince anyone involved why you're feeling it. But in time, as you can do less of that, then little by little, and these are the words that we want you all to take away from this gathering more than all others put together. Bit by bit, you will stop renewing your resistant pattern. Because if you don't keep renewing your resistant pattern about this or that or this or that or this or that, it will peter out. It will cease to exist. It will be clear attraction. You'll be a cooperative component because you've released that. Jerry used to tell the story of sitting in front of a fireplace when he was a kid. And sometimes there were some very popping logs on the fire that gave off a lot of sparks. And when one would hit a piece of his clothing, Jerry discovered very quickly, the faster he got that spark off, the less likely it was to damage his clothing. And negative thoughts are the same way in this sense. The faster you turn your attention from them, the faster you do not continue to activate them by your attention, the faster you do not continue to activate the vibration in you of that thing you're focused on, then the easier it is to do. But if it's something you've been carrying around for a while, don't try to do it right now. It'll just make you nuts. But first opportunity that you have, think it through. Think it through and just ask yourself when you're not feeling the intensity of the negative emotion, is this something that I want to continue to push against and continue to activate as a vibrational point of my attraction and continue to use as my current excuse to keep myself from this I want and this I want and this I want? Just reason with yourself when you feel better and catch yourself when it's something light and easy to just, as Jesus said, turn the other cheek. This may sound like so many words to you, but they are so many words about laws of the universe that as you hear them and integrate them and apply them, and most of all, care so much more about feeling good than anything else, so much more about feeling good than anything else, so much more about feeling good than anything else, we know for sure that even though it's hard, don't start with the hardest things, start with the easiest things and show yourself how you can focus by deliberate intent. That's what a deliberate creator does. And that's why you chose, that's why you chose the life you chose. You want to be a deliberate creator. You said, don't make it easy. I want to get this down good because I'm going to be a teacher in a world where so many people believe so many bogus things and have so many flawed premises that are keeping them from the magnificent lives that they want and deserve. I'm going to get this. I'm going to focus and I don't need smooth sailing to focus. I can focus and focus and focus when it's easy, connect with my inner being until I know what that feels like, activate within myself more often than not the feeling of love, less and less feel hate or discontent or aggravation of any kind until you'll have your sea legs. You will.